Hello, hi everyone! In this tutorial, we will be working on this chest of drawers for our customer and paint it to match this piece she purchased from us a short while ago. So, let's get into it! I started by cleaning this piece inside out. I used white lightening from Dixie Bell and an abrasive cloth and a toothbrush for little details. Once I was done cleaning, I rinsed the piece twice only with water. We applied adhesion primer slick stick from Dixie Bell all over the piece in two layers and then I let it cure for 24 hours before painting. I started to apply mermaid tail with a synthetic brush from Dixie Bell. I actually applied it from the top to the bottom, although I shouldn't paint the last drawer as it's gonna be a different color, but I love so much this color that I completely forgot. The second color is Bunker Hill Blue. I applied it on the last drawer and also a little bit on the second one. And I made some marks with the brush so I know where to stop with Bunker Hill Blue. For the second coat, I applied the colors in the same way, starting with Mermaid Tail and then applying Bunker Hill Blue. Now I will focus on blending and introducing a third clean brush. Once I got to the blending point, I use up and down, side motions and water to blend the colors into each other. I was keep switching between the brushes when I felt that I covered too much mermaid tail or bunker hip blue, then I moved to the clean brush to blend them again and so on. Once the paint was dried in about 2 hours, I applied clear wax all over the piece using circular motions and after 20 minutes I buffed off the excess with a piece of cloth. Next I applied black wax which I don't have a footage for and I applied clear wax first so the black one will be easy to move around. Then I started to dry brush Lucky Lavender first. I took some paint on the brush and I wiped the excess on a um, tissue. The next color is Peony and afterwards we will combine with uh, Florida Orange. Those details will look stunning. Also the handles. I always apply the gilding wax after sealing the piece but I was just too excited and I wanted to see how it looks but I will apply some more after clear coat though. Now let's add some crazy details with a putty knife. I just took a bit of paint on the tip of it and I just applied it then spread it around then I added the next color. I added some water to create some drips, it's pretty easy, it's just so nice to play with these colors and overlay them with a putty knife, they look so 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 cool. I 
I overlaid a bit of amethyst on the top of Lucky Lavender and then I did some more dry brushing on this lovely detail I sealed the piece with three layers of flat clear coat letting each one to dry for about two hours and this is the final result Thank you so so much for watching, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it inspired you in any way and if you did so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more furniture tutorials. See you next time, bye!